Well, welcome back everybody to the Ragamuffin Piper channel, and this is Randy. This is going to be a quick video today. Hopefully we can get it done if the camera will still work. I'm just about to send this camera off for a replacement, so it might be a few days before I have a regular video, but we'll do a live or something like that. Stay in the, stay in the community and stay active. This is my Ferro. It's not my favorite pipe. One of the first ones I bought. It's a Ferro. has a six millimeter filter in it. And in there I've got some burly morning pipe, Gary. <laughs> Still enjoying it. I, I brought it back out of the cellar after you gave us some positive news, maybe. We, we'll see. But it's just getting lit up here, so woo! Stove pipe in there. Anyhow, first off the bat today, I want to thank the subscribers that have recently pushed a button. I just went over 400 subscribers, and <laughs> uh, nothing surprises me more than that number of people that would uh, that would bother to say, "Hey, I want to come back and see what's next." So thank you, thank you to everybody who's been here for a long time. And thank you to the recent bump of, oh, 50, 60, 70 in, over the last month. Something like that, 70 or 80. I hope you're enjoying the content and, you know, I, I don't make it necessarily for entertainment purposes. I make it because I'm bored. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> now I make it to interact with you all. I have such a good time. I've met such good people, and I appreciate every one of you. And to those of you who pushed that button, thank you again. It's uh, it's an honor to have uh, to have this channel and be able to say the things that are on my mind and sometimes the things that are on my heart. And you know the the channel can vary in its content. And sometimes if you see something you don't care for, well, you know, just wait for the next video. It's going to change. I try not to get stuck on one subject. As a second part to this video, I commented on a kind of a popular uh, pipe channel. I made a comment on there a long time ago about different types of tobaccos and I answered one of the questions here a week or so ago about pipes you know what kind of pipes should a person be looking for as a beginner's level or you know what kind of pipes do i prefer whatever and you can go back and see that video at the end of this one but this morning i got uh, to answer a question a little bit from a pipe smoker he's new i think and uh, has a sensitivity to nicotine and i had mentioned something about that myself i cannot enjoy the pipe tobaccos that are high in nicotine even moderate sometimes is just too much for me. I am sensitive to that and it's just the way life is. So I answered him with some of my normal blends that are, to me, they're mild. I don't notice a big nicotine hit in them. Gary, I'll get this lit yet. <laughs> Talking too, too much. You gotta start this stuff up slow and then go easy with it. It'll last and burn a long time. Hmm. Burly morning pipe. Ken Byron. But back to the question. Mild tobaccos. Something that's uh, not going to give you a buzz and put you in a chair or, you know, maybe you didn't eat a big meal. So, I keep a little pipe journal. My wife gave me this. Thank you, Miss Ragamuffin Piper, Michelle. And I use it for notes on a lot of things. But one of the things that's in the back are some pages about n blends. I have a page called uh, Never Do That Again. <laughs> yep, and there's several on there. Uh, maybe someday I'll tell you what's on there. I don't want to upset anybody. <laughs> Because, you know, what one person likes, another person may not like, you know. And uh, it's all about what, you know, what your taste buds are telling you, what your mouth is telling you. So, like tobacco with three stars, 
and I'm gonna have to go down. I'm not gonna read all of these because they're not all mild nicotine, but I think most of these kind of are because they can't make my favorite list if they're not, right? I have a few that are higher, like the mediums, that I do enjoy once in a great while. I know that's what they are. I sit down or I eat a meal first <laughs> or something. <laughs> so, Sunset Rum from Sutliff, you all know that. I mixed that in Ragamuffin Piper Porch Time. So, it's very mild. You won't get a nicotine hit from it. And it's uh, got a great flavor to it. I don't smoke it often by itself. I said that the other day. I don't sm smoke Lame One Q or Sutliff Rum by itself too often. But of the two, the one that I do more often smoke by itself is Sunset Rum. It's got a great nuttiness to it along with that rum. It's a great one. Su Sunset Rum from Sutliff. Lane 1Q, obviously, pretty low nicotine hit. Everybody's favorite and some people's hatred. <laughs> it's not everybody's favorite, okay? It may be a pretty good crowd favorite. Boswell's uh, Pennsylvania Dutch Treat. I have not liked all of Boswell's stuff. You know, I see people post, oh, everything I get from Boswell is great. You know, you want to know one of them that's on this Never Do It Again page back here? Piper's Pleasure from Boswell's. Hated it. So, but I do love Pennsylvania Dutch Treat. It's a cherry blend. It's kind of, oh, not over the top cherry. It's a, it's a mild, it's almost more, a little bit more like a cherry heavy cordial. So, Esoterica. Now, that's a real expensive blend, but darn it, Steve at uh, Smoking Cardboard sent me some of that, and oh my gosh, if that's not some of the best tobacco there is. If I can ever find it again, I'm getting some Esoterica Cardiff. It's spectacular. It may be one of the top two tobaccos I've ever smoked. Really that good. Uh, Lane, TK6. A lot of you know I like a cherry blend, and I can't find real good ones a lot of times. I do not like Blood Red Moon. Too much like candy or licorice. Don't like it. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. TK6 from Lane, very mild. Uh, also from Lane, Black Cordial. Now, this blend has kind of went up and down on my list a little bit. It seems like the blend is... Uh, flexible sometimes with what's in it so sometimes it's really good and the next time i order it that's uh, it's not as good so then i buy some more and blend with it but it is normally pretty good lane bca now that's a black cavendish um it took a, a little bit of an acquired taste for me it burns with a with a real fine ash about halfway through the bowl i usually have to dump out the fine ash or it gets real ashy tasting but my goodness, it's subtle. Oh, it's good. It's good stuff. Uh, one of the ones, Rainier 71 Gold Blend. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that's another one that's probably not all that cheap and not all that easy to find. Oh my goodness, that's good. Peter Stokeby English Luxury, if you're looking for a hybrid uh, Eng English blend. Uh, Trout Stream, you know. Trout Stream has kind of gone through the same thing with me a little bit lately. Um, up and down. So there's some of them. In the comments, you guys list some of your mild blends that you like. Something that's low in nicotine, maybe mild to smoke. And let's give this guy some help. I appreciate every one of you again. I hope to see you again on my channel. And uh, maybe not on this camera. <laughs> it's going in the mail right now. So, until we see each other again, God bless you. See you soon. This is Randy, Ragamuffin Piper.